Well, I've been here for a week now, and I think, uh, of course, uh, you always look back and think that you could have done much more and achieved much more, but we were partially on a farm shop, working, uh, we had visitors from India, uh, we were trying to gauge feedback and uh, introspect in terms of what else we could do to encourage tourism from India, and uh, I think we, to an extent, achieved uh, our first initial uh, uh, steps towards getting more Indians here. Uh, so, so yeah. How, how exactly? Uh, I think uh, what we showcased uh, to a few of our colleagues was uh, was just the beginning uh, of knowing that this does interest them, and uh, I'm sure futuristically uh, they're quite happy to bring back more tourists. Personally, I've been uh, talking and taking training programs on the destination, but uh, to my surprise, some of the things that I didn't know uh, till I'd seen the place, uh, and uh, I have a much more positive impression and I can speak more confidently about uh, what would interest Indians, which is... Uh, and, and which would be what? Uh, which would be uh, the quality of life for me, which could be uh, the way the Danish lifestyle is, uh, the, the Danish um, architecture and design. I think the contemporary designs are quite interesting. Uh, we already have a few uh, retail shops for furniture in India and uh, some of the others that are already uh, very popular. So I think this is just the beginning and we'll have more people from India coming into Denmark. And, and what do you say? Do you agree with that? Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, in terms of architecture, lots of students take architecture. I think there could be interesting exchange uh, program can be organized with schools. Uh, why not? The way of people work, uh, like Mohit said, the way the Denmark office could be an example. It's so bright, it's so uh, close to the nature and uh, it's a good uh, example of people uh, working happily and uh, I think a lot of uh, churches, monuments, museums, uh, art in terms of uh, that also can be done uh, in terms of education wise and I also really uh, like the way how kids been uh, implementing uh, their uh, tradition and culture uh, by uh, dressing up and uh, being in uh, physically and playing with things, the museum, uh, the kids museum where we went in uh, Hans Chris Anderson, uh, that could be also interesting to implement uh, between the two countries as well. So yeah, I mean, there's a lot of things that uh, we can learn from uh, Danish uh, people. So you're saying like a focus on the culture rather than on the buildings in some sense? Or the, 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 the thoughts behind the architecture and so on? Yes, a lot of students actually now they are taking up uh, classes in architecture. So it could be a good idea if they can come over like an exchange program. They can learn uh, in terms of, uh, you know, uh, ecosystem and all those uh, type of work to understand. And for children uh, to implement that kind of uh, education which is not there in India could be also interesting. Some teachers can come over here as the exchange uh, program and learn and go back to implement. There is only few schools uh, doing that in India, but that could be also, you know, could be done in terms of uh, education. And uh, of, of course, in terms of tourism also that we spoke about and how could uh, Denmark would be interested for the Indians in terms of uh, shopping, in terms of architecture, in terms of uh, good nature, environment. Um, it's a new destination for, for Indians. Mm. So there's a lot of positiveness to make this country, uh, you know, um, highlight this country. For the, for the Indian market. Also, I thought culturally, uh, you know, when I was at the Viking village uh, and I saw a lot of children dressed uh, in uh, the Viking, uh, uh, the way the Vikings were and the lifestyles of uh, the Viking, uh, I thought uh, it would be a great opportunity to bring in and promote such tourism uh, with the children. Uh, and um, I, I definitely think there would be a great potential in that as well. We should uh, meet some of these or companies that organize student camps and it would be of a great interest for them uh, to send children over and see uh, in exchange culturally how uh, traditionally uh, the Vikings lived in this part of the world. Yeah. Yeah. Fleming, let me ask you about your perception of this. I mean, you have you have also been working with other countries than India. Yes. And and what is it you do? Do you truly believe we we as Danes can can play a role in India with tourism? Uh, yes, I really do. Um, I'm 
I've been so lucky to work with uh, many other countries and especially for the other Asian uh, countries the last years. And uh, what is it's very well when we work with India and uh, in India trying to promote Denmark is that it's I think it's it's very easy to communicate with the Indians. They are very easygoing people. They, they of course we speak the we speak English uh, from uh, our Danish parts partners, but also the Indians when they speak together they also speak uh, English, or a kind of sometimes it can be very difficult to understand when you're speaking loudly uh, or quickly, but it's uh, it's it's uh, very easy to communicate, and uh, I I really see that. Um, also hearing from Mojita and Ita now that they 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 having such a great experience, that they I think we have a great uh, some great opportunities there. Uh, my worries was uh, and still are of course that, as they also say themselves, they are normally those people that can afford to travel abroad. They are pampered uh, in many ways in India. They have service in people all over, and uh, they uh, don't usually. Uh, take their own luggage when they're traveling and so on and in Denmark you have to do that there nobody not even the queen and king I think they uh, they should always take their own <laughs> their own luggage so um, but when I as I understand that they uh, they understand that this is another culture and this is how we do it here in Denmark and in yeah Western Europe uh, so I think uh, they can manage that as well um, another thing is the um, our our kitchen, our cuisine uh, here in the Nordic countries, uh, but of course we we know that the Indians are have their own habits and also some some parts of it uh, related to religion. Uh, but uh, what I hear from also Mohita and Ethan and the tour operators that was here with us last week that they uh, they liked our food and they uh, they uh, actually had some good experiences also with the vegetarian food. So uh, that's good to hear. Thank you very much, everyone. I'll just Thank zoom you. out so we have yeah. a, a picture of your meeting where you're evaluating. Yeah. Um, so I wish you a good time, and uh, also you're heading towards, is it Norway? Or That's right. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much. Safe journey. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. Thank you.